Welcome to the Kai Java and BlueD Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a Blu-ray menu using specially prepared PSD file. First of all, let's look at the new extended PSD format, specially designed for automatic menu creation. This format is based on the original plain format used in previous versions. The menu in our application can contain buttons and static objects. Buttons can have up to four states. You can name them players. In an extended format, you can store all your menus in one PSD file. Each menu should be a separate group. In this format, group means menu, so do not create additional groups. Let's look at the main menu. We have one background image and three buttons. Hash means that this button is for the main menu only. Tilde means that this button is for the pop-up menu only. The same signs you can apply to the entire menu by placing them in the front of the group name. Symbols N, S, A and C after column mean the states of the buttons. After the state symbol you can put a command that will be executed when you press Enter. There are four commands available. Play movie from a chapter, select audio or subtitle track and jump menu. M is used for the jump menu command. It looks for the menu in the current section, main or pop-up. If you need to force jump to the main menu, you should use the R command. Thus, on the first button intended for the pop-up menu, we see the command jump to the main menu main. On the play button, we see the command play chapter 1 of the default movie. Here the command jump to the settings menu and select the music button. Now let's take a look at the scenes menu. Here you can see something that can be called a template. There is something like the fifth state. It is a mask. This is the placeholder that will be used to place the chapter image. The chapter number will be determined by the play movie command from the button with the same name as the placeholder mask. Of course, you can use PSD files with the menu already filled with chapter images without masks. Using these menu templates, with predefined button commands, you can generate a menu using the wizard without having to assign actions or animations after inputting. Let's look at this process. There is one thing we need to set up before we start the wizard. If you don't have a video from the main menu, you can use a background image, but you need to specify an X264 encoder in the application settings to convert this image into background video. So let's open Tools, Options, Compile and select an X264 encoder. If you do not have it, you need to download it. Let's start the new project wizard. Enter the project name and folder. Here I will add video and audio streams and load the list of chapters. The images that will be used to replace the masks will be taken from the chapter images backslash bitmaps or scenes backslash bitmaps folder. During the menu creation process, the wizard generates such images if nothing is found. But in most cases, it's better to create such images manually. To do this, we need to open the timeline with our chapters. So let's click the edit button. Before creating images for chapters, I recommend to generate them automatically. Sometimes this will be enough. Now let's look at the generated images. The fifth is good, the rest I want to replace. I select the first chapter using a double click and search for the best image using Alt right and Alt left. I use Ctrl plus S to save it.
If you do not have a menu video, then in the wizard you can use an image for the menu. Let's create it. Now we can continue. I have now bonuses. I want to import a menu from PSD. I specify my background PNG as video for the menu. It will be converted to the video during the menu creation process. Now I select my PSD file and specify the appropriate format. I want a carousel menu. Clipping of the scrolling window. And chapter numbers. Here you can specify an animation. I will use the default. The same for the pop-up menu. Let's do it. This is our main menu. You can see black borders on images of some chapter. This is not very good. Therefore, we can fix this by changing the source images in the bitmaps folder or by specifying black borders in the wizard settings. So, let's restart our wizard. We can do this by loading and automatically save it wizard project. This tool shows a screenshot from the beginning of the video. So, I'll just enter the value I already know. Now it looks better. Let's check the generated comments. First start, jump to the main menu via animation 1. Return to the main menu button, assign it. Well, let's check our menu using simulation. Works fine.